This section on plants and flowers is called parts of a plant. So here we have just a blank sheet. On the back I've put the pieces that need to go in place. This is a very simple one. This is good for my little girl. She enjoys this one. So she has to put them in the right order. First comes the flower, then comes the stem, then comes the leaf, the leaves, and on the bottom comes the roots. So she'll do this one over and over again. But it's good practice to learn the different parts of the flower, the names, the vocabulary words, what they mean. You can even practice your reading with it and the order of the parts of the plant. Now for my little boy, for parts of a plant, I made a different little page. I just wrote on little color papers, it says different parts of the plant, what they do, the job, their job. And I put them here in the back, so he takes out the pieces. I try to make these into little games that they can review over and over again for fun, for extra review. So here's a picture of roots. So he has to find that these are like the little definitions of each part. It's the leaves, the stem, the flower, and the roots. And then he has to put them in the right place. It says, make seeds. So he puts the flower. The flower makes the seeds. Take water and minerals from the soil. So he puts the root on top of there. This makes food for the plants. It's the leaves and moves water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. The stem is left. Anyway, that makes for another fun little game, parts of a plant. And a little bit more challenging for my little boy. Then I folded the paper into four parts. Like this, as you can see the little folds. And on the top I said, okay, draw the flower. On the next part, draw the leaves then draw the stem and draw the roots and so they had lots of fun doing this. This is Alvin, he's four years old and he got to write the words all on his own. Did pretty good. And this is my little girl. She did the picture all of herself too. And then I helped her out. She traced the, over the words to see how they remembered their little lesson from today. And then we went into what plants need. So this is another one for my little toddler girl and she just had to put them in the right place by looking at the shapes and then I would read them to her. Right, this is sunlight. The plants need sunlight and they need soil, they need water from the rain and they need air to grow into pretty flowers. So that was our little section on parts of a flower and what plants need.